dear friends, it's a great pleasure for me as Norway's ambassador to Poland to speak to all of you on the 17th of May, Norway's National Day. I would have liked to celebrate together with all of you today, but the corona pandemic unfortunately makes that impossible. Health and safety must come first. But even if we celebrate this year in a different way than we normally do the 17th of May, we are celebrating the same ideas, the same values and the same principles that our country is founded upon. Nine days ago, we celebrated the 75th anniversary of the end of World War II and the end of Nazi occupation of Norway. In his speech on May the 8th, King Harald underlined many of the characteristic features of our society. Peace, freedom, democracy, separation of powers and trust. And these characteristics are indeed worth celebrating and safeguarding. Fortunately, there are also many strong links between Norway and Poland to celebrate. Polish businesses are growing in Norway and Norwegian businesses are growing in Poland. Trade between our countries continue to increase. Almost 2,000 Norwegians study in Poland and many hundred of young Poles are studying the Norwegian language here. Around 100,000 Poles live permanently in Norway and many thousand of Norwegians come as tourists to the beautiful country of Poland every year. Now, even if some of these links are suffering under the current exceptional circumstances, I trust that we will come back stronger than ever before because this friendship always benefits Poles and Norwegians and Poland and Norway. If there is one thing uh, I believe the corona pandemic is teaching us, it is that what we take for granted can be taken away from us. I believe that is an important lesson to all of us. So let us appreciate even more the freedom we have and the daily positive moments, like going for a walk in the park or in the forest, being with family, going out with friends, or sharing a joke with colleagues at the workplace. And let us cherish and safeguard the framework which protects all of this, as highlighted by His Majesty. Peace, freedom, democracy, separation of powers, and trust. And speaking of His Majesty, I would finally like to convey a message I have received from the Royal Castle in Oslo, which I will read first in Norwegian. Vi takker for hyggelig hilsen til kongefamilien i anledning 17. mai. I disse spesielle tidene kan det være utfordrende for mange och være langt hjemmefra, men samtidig ekstra godt å feire vår nasjonaldag og minnes alt den står for. Vi sender våre beste ønsker for dagen til alle ved ambassaden, øvrige nordmenn og venner av Norge i Polen. Undertegnet Harald R. og Sonja. In English, we thank you for the kind greetings to the royal family on the occasion of the 17th of May. In these special times, it may be challenging for many to be far away from home, but at the same time, extra comforting to celebrate our national day and remember all it stands for. We send our best wishes for the day to everyone at the embassy, other Norwegians and friends of Norway in Poland. Signed Harald R and Sonja, our king and queen. Gratulerer med dagen. And please join us 
live at one o'clock when we will stream the performance of our national anthem, Ja, vi elsker, from Norway. Thank you for your attention. Keep cool, keep cool, keep cool.